What is going on everyone? It is JakerGG and welcome back to another episode of Factions here on Cosmic PvP. And today we um well first thing I'd like to mention is we broke the upload streak. Um I had I was uploading for like two weeks in a row daily, I think I think it got up to like two weeks. We were, we were at like ten at least ten, twelve days. And I was uploading <clears throat> daily Skyblock and Factions videos and today well the day I'm recording this was the last day. You're seeing this the next day, but it was the last, uh, the 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 final day. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying, but it was the day where I didn't upload factions for like the first day in like two weeks, and basically it's because I started school. Um, I today was my first day of school, so that's pretty rip. But um, we're gonna still be making videos, just not as often. But I still want to get out a lot of videos because my channel's been doing really well lately, and I've been getting a lot of new subscribers. So I want to keep up the videos um, so everyone is satisfied with the content. But uh, yeah, we're, we're on Cosmic today. I haven't recorded on Cosmic in a few days. I haven't really been on Cosmic in a few days because of starting school and stuff. And uh, like the last couple days of summer, I really wasn't on Minecraft that much. I was just doing other stuff. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, since I've been gone for so long, we have all our G kits to do. So that's, you know, the usual thing. We do all our G kits. Uh, we're going to look at our God set a little bit because I'm going to do a little bit of work on that. I'll show you guys later. I have a bunch of, like, black scrollable items and a lot of really good books, like, good axes. Like, I right now I can make, like, I can have, like, four God axes if I wanted to. But, like, one of them isn't, like, really max. You know, one of them is, like, that one that I made, so it's really good. But one of them isn't, like, one that, it's one that I got from a kill. It's still good, but it's not max. We're going to go through these g -gets really quick so we can get them over with. Um, actually, I have the cactus right here, so I can just throw all that crap on there. And, uh, yeah, basically all I need for my, like, first god set right now, uh, until I have, like, a complete set, is the chest plate. Now, I did have, like, a a beast chest plate, like, a really good butcher's, max butcher's chest plate. Let me actually bring my mic a little bit closer. I don't know how it sounds, but hopefully that'll make a little bit of a difference. I don't know if you can tell, but... Um, I did have like a really beast chest plate with with Bloodlust 6, Deathbringer 3, Overload 3. Um, it I think it still needed a Harden 3, but it was a Butcher's chest plate, so it had like Curse and Harden on it too, but those ones didn't really matter. It's just the main things that it's main that it, mainly it had Overload, Overload Hardened. I mean, oh gosh, Overload, Deathbringer, and Bloodlust. Sorry guys, I'm just mixing up my words. And so it was a really good chess play to start out with for a god set, and I tried applying a 99% lighted book, and the book failed, and since the book had a 100% destroy rate, it failed and it broke the chess plate. Now, there was a lot of debate in my comments saying that, well, of course it's going to fail, Jaker, it's a 100% destroy rate. Now... I don't think everyone really understands how these rates work, and I've gone over this a lot when FDMJV used to play Cosmic. This was a topic of discussion a lot. Well, the topic of book rates being broken was a very big topic of discussion, and it still is because, like, I've had so many 99% or, like, 95, 96, 97% books fail, and... I'm not even talking about them breaking the gear, because most of the time the destroy rate was high, so yeah, obviously it's going to break the gear, but it's really the success rate that I'm talking about. And now the way books work on Cosmic is, let me just grab a book, let me just, a lot of you guys probably already know this, but some some people were not very keen, aware of like how they work. So we have this Killer 5 book right here, it has a 92% success rate and a 52% destroy rate. And the first thing that happens is that 92% success rate you know, I don't really know what the word would be, but it does its thing. It's like, all right, so 92% um, chance this book will apply to the chest plate. Now, in in chance that that success rate doesn't work, say that I, I get really unlucky and that book does not work, then it goes to the destroy rate, and if if uh, if that 52%, you know, procs, I guess I could say, then it destroys the uh, chest plate too, but the destroy rate has nothing to do with the success rate. They're completely different. Just because the destroy rate is 100 doesn't mean that it can't work. Because some people were thinking that if it's 100% destroy rate, it's never going to work. When I've had books that were like 50, 100, and they worked. So really, it's a success rate that does its thing, and then if the book doesn't work, it's the destroy rate that might destroy the gear. But I wasn't getting mad about the, the gear destroying. Well, I was, but... Um, I was just mad that the book didn't work, because the book was 99%, like, 99 out of 100 times, theoretically, it should have worked. Um, so, if, technically, if I used 100 of those books that I used, theoretically, um, only one out of those 100 books should have failed. But whatever. Um, 
Let's go. Dude, I wasn't even expecting that. Enlighted 3 Deathbringer 3 Helmet. That is so awesome. Now we have two of those. We have two beautiful Enlighted 3 Deathbringer 3 Helmets. And I was saying earlier, dude, these things are boss to Black Scroll because they're not risky. Like, if you get Deathbringer off, you get a good book. If you get Enlighted off, you get a good book. And either one you get off, then you still have another Black Scroll to do. So it's it's really a win-win, but that's awesome. But I was kind of... That's kind of off topic, but I wanted to say that. But... Uh, yeah, I think that's it for the book topic. Um, leave your thoughts down below what you think about the book, book success rates, destroy rates. You think I'm wrong, which, I mean, I could be, but, I mean, I've had 50%, I've had books with 100% destroy rate work before. So it's not like just because it had 100% destroy rate, it can't work. That's not true. But anyways, I get that it was, like, obviously going to destroy it. I was just mad that it didn't work, but that's besides the point. So here we go. Heroic Enchantment Kit. No Black Scroll or White Scroll. Me and Machete Man were actually talking about this. I think they might have, like, nerfed the chances of getting a Black Scroll or White Scroll. Because I have not gotten one in, so well, it seems like, so long. Like, I, I don't know. It's weird. But maybe it's just my bad luck. So let's see. We got Inversion 2, which I don't know what the max is for this, but it's good rates. But I'm guessing it's, like, Inversion 3 or Inversion 4 or Inversion 5. Now, someone was telling me that there's, a, there's, a, there's now a command on Cosmic that you can do to, um... Is it slash enchant? So, oh wait, you can do slash, and then you can do the tab. Oh well, that's way too many commands. <laughs> oh my goodness! But someone was telling me there is a way you can like see the max, the max uh, number of the book, like the max level. But um, I don't know how I'm gonna see it. In slash okay, enchant API, enchant API book. Yeah, I think these are all commands that I can't run. Enchant, enchant API book. Yeah, it's currently disabled. So these are all just like commands that probably only like admins can run or something. But um, slash, wait, is it slash enchant? En enchant? Enchantment. You don't have access. So yeah, I don't know. You guys will have to tell me below if that's actually a command now, but you got inversion 2, I don't know if it's good or not. Unfocus 3, which has really good rates, but I'm pretty sure Unfocus 4 is max. No, Unfocus 5 is max, so that's going to be a tinker book. Uh, Stormcaller 4, Hellfire 4, Tank 4. Oh, that's such a good book, but the rates are just rip. Stormcaller 3, Curse 3, and Infernal 1. So basically, that was like one of the worst rolls of Enchanter I've ever done. Now, if that Tank 4 was better, I would be happy, but it's only 26% success. Although we did get, we got, oh, we got Elite Dust. I thought we got an Ultimate Dust. So PB10, put away this Elite Dust. We actually ran out of room on this row, that's why I put this one down here. But, um, yeah, I don't know, in version 2, I kind of want to keep it just in case it's like... Well, I don't know. In version 2 wouldn't be max. There's no enchant. What does it say? Damage dealt to you has a percent chance to be blocked and heal you for 1 to 4 HP. So, alright. I actually need to think about it. I was just kind of reading it off. Now I need to think about what it actually does. So, um, has a percent chance to be blocked. Okay. Okay, so it's kind of like lifesteal, but not really. So, you, so you're you using it on a sword, but if the person hits you, it has a percent chance that it heals you. Okay, that's interesting, but I'm pretty sure in version 2 it's not max. I don't think there's a single enchant on Cosmic where 2 is max. So I'm just going to tinker it. It's, the, the max is probably 3 or 5 or 4 or something like that. So let's tinker it. And we have Mystery Dust. Hopefully that thing wasn't a really good book. Um, if it is, people are going to get really mad at me in the comments, so I'll know. But this Tank 4, dude, I really need a Tank 4 book, but it's just so much. Like, I would need so much dust in this thing. If we use that Primal, it'll make it up to 50. And then we could put, like, that would make it up to... We could definitely make this 100%. It's just, is it really worth it? I don't know. Like, 20... I'm, I'm gonna keep it, although we have no room in here. Let me let me go to my vault. I'm just gonna keep it in my vault, and maybe if I somehow... I don't know. I'm, I don't think I'd ever justify using 74% dust on this, but maybe we could YOLO it on something that's YOLOable. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We're just gonna keep it, because why not? Let's go back to the base, and, um... See what we can do for the rest of this episode. We gotta look at, take a look at our God Gear because I was talking about that earlier, and um, you guys can tell me what you think about all this stuff. So basically, yeah, we got you saw me get those two helmets, and we have these enlightened three boots that are obviously black scrollable, and then a rage five sword which are black scrollable. Um, I don't really need a rage five book unless I were to like make this into a God Axe, which this is basically like a yellow book session if we were to do this. Um, it's an almost max butcher's axe, but we need to add these two books which are very very risky and most likely, with my luck, going to destroy the axe one way or another. And then we have this axe, which we have a really good Rage 6 book, it's 85%, and then we have a really good Bless 3 book, which is 91, and this is a Max, Butcher, Max Butcher's axe, so basically this thing is like on its way to being a God axe, if I put these two books on it. Now, 
you guys know me and books that are like really good books but i don't um put dust on them they never work out good like the, it just doesn't happen i just have terrible luck so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this dust on it for now it's 93 so we need seven more percent okay so we have a three for 160k we'll take that we have a five for 340k we have a two we have um a three a six Okay, we probably should have bought the six, two, five, okay, two for, no, that's that's not a good price, five for 340k, purchase that, now we have a five, and it, so we have, we're gonna, looks like we're gonna have to waste one percent worth of dust, but I'm just gonna do it, I'm not gonna take any chances with this book, and then the blessed, let's see how much money do we have, we still have 2.9 mil, we're still almost at three mil, which is good, now let's go to PV10, and let's grab, we need nine percent worth of ultimate dust which is easy peasy let's put that on there and that on there actually let's put our uh, let's put our anim oh. animations particles on okay i want to put these books on this this guy's saying uh, do you want th free books i'm just gonna say yes who knows maybe he has like a tank four book or something let's, let's see so let's put this rage on let's put this blessed on and now this axe is obviously like it it's on its way to being a god axe the only enchants it needs are i'm drawing a blank Oh, okay, he, I can roll again in two hours. Yeah, this is the guy who actually gave me uh, his, like, enchantment kit. Like, he does it, he gets on and he does it for me, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, um, what else do we need on this axe? I'm, well, we can just look at our other axe. Um, so we need we need uh, Confusion, Decapitation, Barbarian. Barbarian's the big one. Okay, so we need a Barbarian 4 book, and we need Confusion and Decapitation with... Uh, he said go spawn, so I guess... Uh, he must have some books already, but we need confusion and decapitation on this axe, which, I don't know, decapitation you don't really need, so I think I'm just going to put on confusion for now. Alright, so trade, oh, he has a Guardian's 10, 99%, dude, that is sick, I will take that. Alright, so, oh, he's giving me, oh, so he already did a roll, he must have done it, um, like, not today, maybe last time he did it, so he has a bunch of stuff for me, so thank you, shout out to you, Olympic Star 42 um, we got a really good, oh, we got a decapitation book as well, that's pretty cool, so thank you for the donations. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got here, let's put away the dust, and let's throw out the space drinks, we got unique dust, and then we have some books, which some of them, we can go ahead and tinker, we got Undead Roos 10, uh, Guardian 10, okay, Not, Ice Aspect we'll probably keep just because it's a really high percent, Creeper Armor 3, Garbage, T Valor, okay, um, Ice aspect, yeah, so those are the ones we want to keep. Let's get some dust, come on. Oh, we got an elite magic dust. Do we, I think we have so much, okay, going back, uh, he said wait. He, has, he says wait. All right, we have so much elite dust, like I was saying, so we have, can I get a $1 note? Of course you can get a $1 note. Let's go ahead and trade him up. Trade Olympic Star. I'll hook him up with a $1 note. No, wait, did I withdraw two? What's that other piece of paper? Oh, he gave me a one dollar note. Okay, I was like, "Why do I have a one dollar note?" Uh, it was him. Okay, that makes sense. But anyways, let's go back to the base, and we can go ahead and go over what we want to put in our god set. So now we have um, we have a guardian's ten book. Now uh, I, I asked in one of my past episodes what pieces I want I should put armored tank and valor on. And people are saying that I should put tank on everything and armored on one or two of them. That seemed like the general consen consensus. So, I'm going to have tank four on every piece. I don't know, the boots might not have room. The boots. The boots have a lot of the stuff you need already. They have hardened rocket escape. Um, undead roofs, obviously, you don't really want. Ender shift is like, eh. And the thing about these boots is I'm not going to be able to add ender shift three because ender shift is supposed to go on helmets. This is just a G kit that had it on it. So, it's kind of tricky. We could probably go ahead and switch out those boots with something else once we get a better pair. I don't know if those would be better. These have, yeah, I mean, I don't know which one would be better. Those aren't that good either. So for now, these are going to be our boots, but I don't know if I'm going to use the Death Mirror book on them until like the very end. This will be like the last thing I work on because I'll probably just find a better pair to work on. But anyways, let's go ahead and put some of these books away. PV14, there's no room for the Guardian Sun. Okay, we're, we're just overloaded on books right now. We do not have enough room in our PVs for books. And the funny thing is... <clears throat> I had even less room in my PVs for books last season. Like, last season, I had, like, one PV for all my books. And this season, I have two, and they're still almost full. So that's pretty crazy. But we're going to need... You know, we're going to go to our little vault. We're going to go to our vault, and if you guys know... Well, you guys probably know. We showed it earlier in the video. But we have that chest there for books, which we can put to, put to work here. Because our book PV is definitely... Um, pretty crowded so let's put away some books voodoo not, voodoo 6 is a good book that's like a godset book uh valor 5 is also pretty good vampire 3 is is eh 
We've got Smoke Bomb 8, which is a god set thing. Nimble 5. Cactus 2 is really good. Implants 3 is really good. Execute 7, I guess we'll keep in there. Another Cactus, which one's better? Uh, 60, so yeah, we'll put this one in the chest. Then we've got Rocket Escape. We've got another Voodoo as well. We have a lot of good elite books. I mean, we have a lot of good elite dust. And we have a lot of good elite books. Wow, we actually have three implants, a, a really good Valor. Okay, this is actually looking very good. we got a Springs 2 book, which we'll keep in there, and an Antigraph 3, which we'll put away. So these books, we'll put back in here. We can actually, can we shift click them in? Yeah, we can do it to a point. So there we go. Put all those away. And then we have room for, actually, we're just going to put this one in the chest, cause since it's not that good. Um, did I, okay, I thought I accidentally put a, an ultimate book in there. But well, yeah, we're running out of room in here even. I'm just going to take out that, move these down one each and then uh, we'll just keep that. Okay, so we're good. And then uh, the anti-gravity will go right there. But anyways, we need to figure out what um, what we want to do with Lucky as well. Because oh, this guy's a nature ref. Wow, that is... Honestly, if I had that book, it would fail. Like, I would I would just be like, it's going to fail, and it would fail. Like, it'd just be like those other books in the in the God Set video. I'm just... My, my luck is so terrible. But anyways, let's just put 1% uh, dust on this. We'll just get it 100% right off the bat. So we have 100% Guardians 10. Now, does this set have Guardians yet? It does not. So let me know in the comments. Um, I know the reason I'm asking these questions is because God sets are like constantly changing with all the new enchants coming out. Like, there's always like new um, standards for God sets. Like, like it used to be like you you put like a few enchants on your God set and it's complete. Like it used to be like five enchants. Then it turned into like it's like it's like an art it's a fine art to get your god set right and i just want to make sure i'm doing everything right so we have a lucky 10 book with 74 so that's good enough for us i'm trying to make some room in here take out some of the books that aren't like too crazy that we can just make some room for other books we'll just do that for now that'll be cool um but anyways let me know what about tell me about guardians lucky like what I, if i should put guardians on every piece or lucky i think lucky i remember all right guys so again my recording messed up and um Basically, it's been happening like every time I try to record, and basically, I don't know what to do about it. So, uh, I think it like just cut off. I watched it, and it looked like it just cut off like 20 seconds before. Like I, I noticed it like right after it cut off. Basically, what happens is I have two monitors, and I, my recording screen is over on the left one, and I'm playing on the right one. And I can look over, and usually I'll be able to see like my screen like moving around. I can see it moving around. It's like a mirror on the other screen. But then sometimes it'll freeze. And I'll be like moving on my screen, but the other screen will be frozen, and then like the time that it's been recording for stops. Like the, the recording just stops, um, but the, but you can still hear me. So it's kind of weird. Like the game the game goes away, but you can still hear me. But we're back. And basically, what I was talking about, we were at the, the we were at the vault, and I was saying like how you guys should like give me some suggestions for my god set, and how it's like just uh you know it's like a fine art you know knowing what enchants to put on a god set because if you put the wrong ones on you're gonna run out of room and then you might forget one that you want to put on or you might put on one that's like redundant like you don't need that many like you don't need like say like you don't need two obsidian shields on your set you don't need two overloads you don't need two like st stuff like that that uh that w would be helpful to know but anyways um, we're gonna get, bring this episode to a close pretty soon here. I'm just gonna do a little bit more like work on my god set and such. So we have this axe here, which we're we're basically gonna have two god axes once we get another barbarian book. Let's see how much is this rage book going for? 76% and it's going for 600k. So I can make some decent money. Basically, the rage five book. I can either get it off of that sword and then put it on this axe if these books do work. And I don't know these books. What is this? Uh, 87%. So these books, basically, they're gonna fail. Like, I know for a fact if I use them, they're gonna fail. And, um, I don't really have any other good Cleave 7 books. So, I don't know. Should we, like, should we just YOLO it? Like, do we, yeah, we're just gonna do it. Okay, well, it's over with. We, we, we ripped an axe, but it wasn't even a max axe, so that's alright. Um, of course, like I said, it was gonna fail. It failed. That's just my luck. Um, right there, it was, what was it, like a 68% book? So it should've worked, but it didn't, of course. But anyways, now we have to get into some other stuff. Now I have two 100% black scrolls, so theor theoretically we could have like two really good like Enlighted Three and Deathbringer Three books. But I kind of want to save those for when I actually get like Divine and Nature Wrath stuff, because that's when you really want to use your 100% black scrolls. So I think I'm gonna save those for a better time. Now we have these two God Axes, which okay, so we we need Pummel on this. We need uh, obviously Barbarian. We need. Uh, Basically, Pummel and Barbarian and Confusion. I'm not going to put training on this one because I think once I get max axes, I won't really need training anymore. So I'll have like one for that reason. But 
Let me just check really quick if I have a Pummel 3 book. I don't think I... Yeah, I don't remember seeing one in here. So, uh, basically what this helmet is, it's... it's The helmet's, like, done. It's it's literally max. It has 9 in chance. We got it from a kill. Um, and the, the leggings... They need tank four, but other than that, they just need like Deathbringer and some other stuff. So it's it's actually really tough putting together this set because I haven't made a god set since like last map. So it's kind of tough knowing what enchants to put on what. But these two helmets are definitely going to be like really good to use. Like I could either make a bunch of money off of them or do something because if even if I just had like drunk to them, they would be the god helmets. Or I could maybe work on one and black scroll the other. I'm not really sure. I haven't really pulled the trigger on any of these black scrolls yet because I don't know which ones to use because I don't have any enlightened dust. I mean, le legendary dust. And I know if I black scroll at 83%, it's probably not going to work because that's just my luck. But, um, you know, to end off the episode here, we're going to be doing something that everyone's going to get mad at me for. But we, we have this 55% black scroll and we have this sword. Now, the chances of me getting divine off the sword, you know, they're what, 1 in 9. There's 9 in chance on this sword they're one in nine but this is how i look at it first of all it's a 55 percent black scroll so it's not that good of a black scroll i'm not going to use it on like a really good enlightened book because obviously if i get the enlightened book it's going to be 55 percent which in my luck it's going to fail or i'm going to need to put 45 percent dust on it which would be just dumb because legendary dust sells for a lot but if we use this black scroll and we say we get divine off if we get super lucky then we'll have a 55 percent divine three book which we can then yolo and hopefully have it work and then we can use 100 percent black scroll and obviously have a good sword. Now, if it does take off, like, you know, obliterate, paralyze, block, vampire, trap, or disarmor, anything other than, well, I mean, lifesteal, I'd have to put on lifesteal 5. But anyways, if it takes off something else, I could technically put rage on this sword, and it could be a decent sword, although it would be divine 3 with, like, some other random enchants, but at least it'd have rage. So it's also still a candidate for, like, a decent PvP sword, but I'd need souls, obviously. But we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, you guys can just go ahead and leave all the comments you want about how dumb this is. But uh, I felt like it would be a fun thing to do for an episode. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, we're not going to get Divine 3 off. I just know. I'm saying that right now. Um, I'm getting in the habit of like saying like stuff will not happen or it will happen. And then whatever I say, it happens. Like last, like when I did that Godset video, I said, oh, this book is not going to work. And the funny thing is I said I was putting a, bow, a book on that bow, and I'm like, this book is not going to work, and it's going to break the bow. And it did exactly that. And then some guy in the comments is like, if, if you knew it was going to happen, then why would you do it? Well, the thing is, like, how would I know that's going to happen? Like, I, I was obviously saying that because I thought it was going to happen, but I wouldn't, like, I don't know. I just thought that comment was kind of stupid. But anyways, into this black scroll. Here we go. 55%. Here we go. All right, so we got the enchant off. Now we need to just go ahead and scroll over. All right, we got vampire off. Obviously... I was going to freak out if we got Divine off, but we have Divine Immolation 3 still on there. It's, like, really addictive. Like, I just want to put on another Black Scroll and just keep doing it, but obviously that will be really dumb. So let's go ahead and tinker this, see if it'll give us a Primal Dust. Um, doubt it. Yeah, Mystery Dust, of course. But now we have this sword that has an empty slot on it that we could put Rage on. So I don't know if it's worth putting Rage on it, if it's, like, a trash sword. I don't know. It still has Lifesteal. I mean, what else would you want on the God Sword? There's a couple other things. It has Obliterate, though. Oh, that's probably why. They probably purposely put Obliterate on there, so it's, like, really, really hard to use it to PvP. I don't know. Well, we're going to keep it for now. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Um, that God Axe is coming along. We'll have two God Axes, which will be awesome. And um, eventually, we'll get our God Set done. I just need to make sure I'm using the right books and everything. So that is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, the videos won't be coming out as often, but they still will be coming out. So if you did enjoy this one, please go ahead and leave a like on it, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.